to achieve what you want in life, you have to become someone. Neymar, Messi, Suarez, Messi, Ronaldinho, one of my idols, you know. Discipline, I think, is very important to be whatever you want to be in life. I feel the love of, of England fans, you know, and all I, I want to do is give that, that love back, you know, to them. Hi, I am Adama Traore, and this is Box to Box. box to open. I don't know what's inside, but I'm excited to see what is inside. Thank you. Open it. What does this shirt mean to you? A lot. I think um, it's part of my, my career. It's part of how when I grew up. It's part of uh, when I started uh, the football also. I was very young and it brings a lot of memories. Not only because it's Barcelona is one of the best clubs in the world and the biggest club in the world. More for me also because I, I grew up there. So, you know, I grew up, you know, my family, my friends, you know, and play in the city where you grew up and uh, see Ronaldinho, one of, for me, one of, of my idols, you know. See him in train, see him play, see him how happy he is every time he touches the ball, how magical he was, you know, after Messi. And same with Messi, Iniesta, Xavi, Busquets, and all these legends players, you know. It was amazing because also when I, when I was in training with them, you know, they, they tell you in the same day you have to go to train with the first team, you know, and, and it was amazing to see all these players, Neymar, Messi, Suarez, all these players, you know, and Xavi, and they won a lot of things, you know, they have great experience, you know, they they, they legends in the game, so it was amazing, and it was, for me, it was learning, you know, learning they and learn everything they know and everything they, they give it to me to, 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 to try to put it in my, in my in my game. Did they ever give you any kind of advice? Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, the, the most important thing he shocked me, they, they were talking about personal things also, you know, how, how you have to, to live your life outside of the of the pitch, you know, it's very important to have you, your mindset right, you know, because at the end of the day it will affect you inside of the pitch, you know, and that was amazing, you know, they were talking to their personal experience, you know, when I was, I was a young lad who was coming up to train with them, they don't have to talk about their personal things and their, their personal old experience and it was very open to it, you know, try to teach us and because they know they've been in that situation and for me it was amazing. That was the most important thing for me. Am I right in saying that when you made your debut, you replaced Neymar? What was that like? Yeah, it was amazing. I think it was amazing when I replaced Neymar, you know, I played as him, you know, in the, in the Camp Nou, play in front of, of, of the of my people. So it was amazing, you know, played as him, he was, he, was, he was very nice, he's a great guy also and Neymar is a great player. It, I was thinking if I were worth it all, I was your glad, you know, and by my he was getting in and, and play the best, the best, the best, the best part of, of, of the game and show show my quality. What was it like having Xavi as a coach? Yeah, it was it was nice. It was nice. I think we know we have a lot of experience. You know, you know the house. You know everything what is going on inside of, of Barcelona, and and he helped a lot and he's helping a lot the, the, the team to to achieve. They they doing good in, in La Liga and also the next the next year they they learning from this year and keep growing. Gym bands, yeah. I think, yeah, it's just about my, my physique, the way I work. The discipline, I think, is very important to be not only a football player, whatever you want to be in life. It's difficult for me to explain my, my gym work. I think it's, it's a combine of things, you know. Um, for me, the most important thing is have a good physique, but not losing my power, my ability to change directions, my ability to still be fast, you know, strong in the same way. And this is this is the work I do, you know. It's different works, you know. It's difficult to explain because I don't have the machines here. I grow fast in, in in muscle, you know, so uh, most of the times I have to, to do less uh, a gym, to do less things because uh, my body grow up very fast, you know, in, in muscle way. It's very important for me maintain the, the, the routine right to know to increase in muscle fast. What do you have to eat then to kind of maintain this physique? No, it's not about that. It's about what I have to eat. Calories are important as well, but also here we have a control of what we eat, you know. Every day he tell me what I have to eat, what drink I have to drink. They also see the the water I have in my in my body, you know. To achieve who you want, what you want in life, you have to become someone, you know. And you have to become someone who want to be disciplined. You have to become someone who want to execute all the time. For to become that, you have to pass through these things, you know, that mindset, that, that difficult morning where you, maybe you're tired because you, you hit the gym yesterday or your hand is painful, you, your feet is painful or whatever. But if you, if you can pass that, 
also create a strong mentality, you know, so I think that's the most important thing. Who, who would win in a race between you and Mbappe? I don't know, we have to see. So Mbappe is pretty fast, also he's a fast player. I never play against him. I can't tell you, I know some people who tell me he plays, he's fast. It's also, they say, I'm there, I'm up there, maybe a little more faster, but I can't say anything because I never play against him, you know, I can't. Um, the day I play against him, we're going to see. Do you think on FIFA your speed rating should be more than 96? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely right. I think my speed should be higher. I think my, my physique should be higher. But they write in, they know. They know I'm not happy about what I can say. So I will improve myself and I have to, I'm going to show them. You've sent them a message, have you? Have you told them? I always send them a message, yeah. All the time I send them a message, yeah. I think it's Raul, and it has to be Raul, the same car, I think. So tell us about your friendship with Raul then. Well, I think Raul is uh, have, you know, uh, I did have a very chemical, very good uh, and chemical uh, connection with him in, in the pitch, also outside on the pitch. He's a very nice guy, you know, and he's a very good, very good, very good person to talk, very good person to to live with in the inside of the area of the team and I always have a good good connection with him and good good friendship with him. You were on the pitch when he, he had his injury. What was it like seeing that? Yeah, it was pretty crazy, you know. I, I thought it was only um, an injury who will be, he will be okay, but after uh, he has to go through operation and all that, maybe to play again football. So it was tough, it was pretty tough because I appreciate him. I know he was, he's a, he was a very nice guy. He was a very important player for us. And it was pretty sad because not only, or not only because he's an important player for us, it's because he's a good person, but uh, that's in the past now. He's, he's recovered, you know, and, and, and he's fully, fully good in the pitch. You're a really popular player in England. Pep Guardiola called you a motorcycle. Jurgen Klopp said you're undefendable. What's it like having such nice things said about you as a player? Yeah, very nice, very nice. Uh, top managers, happy and yeah, I, I feel the love of, of England fans, you know, and I appreciate that a lot, you know, uh, and all I, I want to do is give that, that love back, you know, to them. What was it about Tony Pulis that you made you two such good friends? Yeah, I think Tony Pulis is, is more our manager is a friend, you know, he, he is the first manager who gave me the trust, you know, I was very young, you know, to tell me, uh, to, to talk to me, you know, in a more personal way. And I think that helped me a lot in that moment, you know, and until today I have very good connection with him, I, I speak with him and for me it was very direct, you know, the person who I am, I like people who is very direct, who is very honest to me, you know, in the personal way, you know, and I think he was more personal to me. There are some managers who they are not, you know, they don't have to be, you know, because this is a job, but he, in that time, he was more personal to me and I was needed that in that time so he was he was perfect and for me he's a he's a, he's a very important person in the, in the football world. Baby oil. <laughs> Everyone knows I push baby oil and no baby oil, any oil you know in my hands to Two people can grab me when I'm when in, in the speed, you know. When I, rec I was recovering from my shoulders, people know there was no in half some problem in my shoulder. I was recovering from my shoulders, so the, the way to stop me was grabbing my hands, you know. So the doctor had a great idea to push these things in my hand, and it was pretty fun when when the, the defenders tried to grab my, my hands and it was asleep, yeah. It was very, very nice to see their face. For me, it was an okay, let's try, because it, it was a tough time, you know, for me, because they know I was recovering from my shoulder and they was trying to grab my shoulder, you know, because I was close to operation. I didn't want to do operation. So I was doing some specific work for my shoulders. That was one of the options, you know, and I have to, to try that to, to stop the, the, the trying to pull up, pull my, my shoulder off. One, one of the patients say, well, why is going on? Why you have oil in the, in the, in the hands? And I was saying, well, you're trying to grab my hands, so this is how it's gonna be. There were few, you know, there were few, and also there was, and then after the, 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 the medical team, they were showing me the videos, how, how they're trying to, because when I'm in the game, I'm not fully concerned who, if, who's grabbing my arm or not. But after, it's pretty, pretty fun when the medical team show me, this, they, they tell me, you see, it's, it's important you to, to do these things to, to know they, they don't damage you. And it's very fun when they, they're watching the hands and see there's oil in their in the hands, you know. One of the books have something I like, one of the books have, have something I don't like. I don't know which is which, so let's see, let's play. Uh, well, I have something I don't like, time. 
well, maybe I don't like to lose my time. So I was told that sometimes you're a little bit late for things. Yeah, they can't tell you that, but for me, no. Yeah. It's one of my favorite food, yeah. Of course, my favorite food is my mom food, of course. It's a mix of African, Spanish, but pasta is one of, of my favorites, yes. What's the one Malian food that everyone should try? If I said the name of the food, you won't understand. But uh, it's a mix of rice and some nut sauce, you know. It's very nice, you know. It's different dishes of, of African food, but I like the flavor, you know, strong, strong flavor, and it's very nice. I think my mom is the best cooker. Do you have a cheat meal? When I was more younger sweets, I was eating a lot of sweets, but um, no now, to be honest, I'm not touch of any, anything who I'm thinking, oh, I have to eat, I have to eat, no. Because I think when you take so, so many time of um, eating, know what you want or what you ha what's the right thing for your body, you take away, or the need of, I need to eat that, you know, you just take away that need. This is box to box Thank you for watching. If you can like, comment, and subscribe, and I appreciate that.